already did my eyebrows and now I'm going to cry my eyelids with the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer from Crypt. Alright, so next we're going to go in with my Morphe 35 C palette and we're going to go straight in with the yellow. I'm not going to set my eyes. Um, I'm just going to go in with this yellow. And I'm going to get a lot of that product because it's yellow. I feel like you need a lot for it to really show. And I'm just going to put it in the crease. Oh fuck in the outer and in the crease of my lid. Alright, so I went ahead and did this eye off camera so I could come back and just do this one eye. Um, the next color that I'm going to be going into is this peachy color as you can tell this one and this one I'm going to be putting that in the outer and inner crease as well but I'm also going to be moving it up towards the yellow And I'm going to be using the same eye primer I used in the beginning, which is Kat Von D. And I'm going to be going in with the yellow on the outer part of where I just... Oh, where I just cut my crease. It's going to be somewhat in the outer and in the middle. But I'm not going to go all the way towards the um, inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild, excuse me, black mega liner, liquid eyeliner. this tutorial is just going so wrong right now I'll fix it in a minute so I went in and added a shimmer with the tint of glitter um, the shimmer that I'm going to be using is the Luna and Lyra 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 color <laughs> from the Aurora palette of Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the Lyra and Luna color I didn't really spray anything on my brush. I just went ahead and went in very lightly and then added the Lyra color right beside it. And then I used my NYX glitter primer to 
add an adhesive for my glitter. You don't want a really like a lot of it because you don't want to pack on the glitter. You just want to put it really lightly. No, te dije que no me contestó. Nomás me dijo que si iba a tener. Nomás me dijo que si iba a tener el carro y le dije que no. That's all she said. Okay. The glitter that I ow the glitter that I went in and used was wheeze. Well, is this hard candy, Papa Sarah's, and City Chick? Let me go ahead and get out this lightning. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is how it looks. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Foundation. I think this is their newest one. 24 hour foundation. It looks like this. But I'm also going to be mixing it with my L'Oreal Pro Glow. And I just need this tray. I just need one pump. I feel like I'm doing some scientific shit. And now we're just going to mix the two and then put it on our face. I read a lot. I did already went in and primed my face with the Too Faced Hangover Primer as well as the Benefit. What the hell is that? I said no. I didn't know. <laughs> what the hell is that? No, baby! I can't ever do nothing. Stop barking at him. The Maybelline one is a little bit too dark for my face and I feel like I've always used the L'Oreal one. And for some reason I'm kind of noticing that it's a little bit too white for my face even though I've used that color for so long. Maybe I guess I've always been wrong. And then the color that's next to it is too orange for my face. And I mix these two things together and it's like the perfect combination. Combination. I've kind of been doing this new trick to my face where I just put my foundation in spots. <laughs> Fuck, I've been having really bad acid reflux everywhere. And then I go in with the contour and highlight. I'm going to be using the Cream Contour by Anastasia Beverly Hills using, I think this is the darkest. Yeah, this is the deep one. And I'm going to be going and mixing this dark shade with this dark shade to give it the perfect dark shade for me. This is too dark. I'm gonna be going in with my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by It Cosmetics. What's that? Okay, baby. Now I'm gonna just be blending out the parts that are like less important which is it's better to blend out these parts first before you do the contour and the under eye um well to me at least
So when you're blending out your contour, you want to make sure you go upwards instead of down. And don't really drag it, pat it on, because if you drag it, it's kind of going to kind of take away your the darkness of the contour. So just dab it upwards. As well as blending it in with the highlight point right here. Shout out to one of my clients when I went to her makeup. She had this sponge and like I immediately fell in love with it because you can get under your eyes really good and into this corner. It's like such. Instead of like having to switch to a smaller sponge. I mean you can still use smaller sponge because I still do. But it's like I highly recommend besides the um this is Eagles Eagles Tools and the other one is Real Techniques, the orange one that's really popular. But I really like this one. Um, so now I want to what is this called? Make set water at this point, you know. I swear every time I go halfway through this tutorial or towards the end, like I fucking give up because so many things go wrong. During the making of a video. Like for one, I forget things. I do something wrong. Or a ring doesn't let me do certain things. And then I forget during the process what I was gonna do. Did I set this under a my old faithful Laura Mercier. Now I'm going to be going with Milani face powder. Um, I use this as a bronzer which is a medium tan. I'm going to have so much since my contour is already kind of like going strong there. <laughs> now I'm going to be going in with highlights. Going back in with the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit and picking up Lyra. Yummy. I'm also going to be going in with Luna just to make that pop a little bit more. I think I'm going to go in with, the, with Lyra. Mix in a little bit with Orion, which is the blue color. Ew, what the fuck? For lips, I'm going to be using Ala Sarai. Collaboration with ColourPop. Oh wow! So I went over the lip color by Ala Sari and thinking maybe this MAC um, taupe was going to be a little bit darker or something so I can do like an ombre effect but actually they're literally just about the same color so if you want to dupe for the taupe go ahead and buy the Ala Sari Coloration with color pop, ultra satin lip in the color 951. And last but not least, I'm going to add my lashes, which is going to be by the brand Kiss in the name Sultry underscore A. And I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm back, lashes on, and mascara, and 
this is my finished look. Um, I hope you guys all just enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like always, I hope it wasn't all over the place. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.